go, there you go, man. Jeez, like that. All right, the volume should be fine. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a, another Wednesday ketchup session. So how you doing? How you doing? Quickly give us a thumbs up over there. I know there's not going to be many people because of the electricity situation yet again in South Africa. But I'll show you just now a picture of why we probably won't can expect any Durbanites to be on the show tonight as well. But yeah, so we have got Mr. Schalf van die Kerk as per usual. He's been sitting here from four o'clock this afternoon. Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you're well, ready for some another awesome ketchup. <laughs> it's actually so nice to see that you guys uh, enjoy the show, that uh, you're actually looking forward to it, some people. Uh, there's Mr. Zach Damon's here. I don't know if he's here still again. He signed in earlier though. Cushion grounder, can't wait for the new toys. <laughs> Two new toys. Yeah, it's not brand new products though, but it's uh, brand new things which I ordered, which I thought that uh, it would be nice. It would be nice. But I will show you some pictures of it though. I will probably only get it tomorrow afternoon. Apparently, according to Mr. Courier guy. And the same with the e pipe. I'm sure I will probably get it tomorrow or the day after. But I will definitely have it by next week. Mr. Christian Pierrecock. Pierrecock is here. Good evening, Pierre. Nice to see you as well. Mr. Beinkis all the way from Mossel Bay. Lekker for you. Fee all the way from the table view. Bloberg area. And uh, Dani Jonker, Nancy. There is uh, lekker om a nieuwe name hier so te sien for a slag. It's very much, very much lekker. Mr. Bigfoot. Good afternoon. Good evening to you, sir. I don't know where you from. But it's evening here, it's around 7 o'clock in South Africa. Uh, JP Maton say, Goeienaand allemaal, Dion say, that's it. You guys can all see, you can all hear. It is hunky-dory. Got my little juice here, believe it or not. I've got some notchy energy to keep me going. I'm not in a very good place at the, <laughs> at the, at the moment. So if I don't sound, sound so jovial as usual, then yeah, just, just understand. But it's got nothing to do with vaping now. Except the taxes which the people are stirring again. We want to increase the poor taxes, make it hard for people to purchase juices. I don't know. Yeah, we will just have to see what happens. What can we do? What can we do in this country of us? I mean, I watched the documentary about the manganese mining in South Africa. You know, we as normal citizens, we don't have a cooking clue what is going on behind the scenes. How much illegal activity is there and money being pushed in certain areas to keep that illegal activity under the wraps or operational? It's just scary. And I mean, there's a lot of uh, people that actually got affected by the dust from these manganese mines that they're starting to show the same symptoms as what Parkinson's does. It's got its own disease name. Man man mangesia, manganese, I've got no idea. But yeah, but the problem is, uh, obviously it is Russian owned, part Russian owned. So now you can understand why South Africa will never side with Ukraine. Eh? And we will understand that. Because we are friends with Mr. Putin, <laughs> according to our government. So yeah, that, that's that. Anywho. Um, Nico Liver says, Nancy Mesa, good, good evening, Nico. Yeah, Bigfoot, you, 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 you at least got a lekker um, afternoon ahead of you and a nice full evening. Um, I apparently heard that you can, over New Year's evening, I'm not sure if it's true, but because of the time, so, time zone differences in the world, you can actually enjoy a New Year's evening party three times over. So there is apparently a facility concerning this or people that do this whether it's per plane i'm not sure i assume it has to be but yeah where you add a new year's party happy new year and then you climb on a plane and you go somewhere else happy new year <laughs> for three times but that's what i heard i'm not sure about that though. how long must you wait to put a new battery in vape how, what do you mean how long must you vape or wait to put a battery in? <laughs> yeah, when when it doesn't function anymore when it doesn't do that <laughs> then you know but uh, you should have a battery indication not exactly sure what you're talking about over there there's Zach Damon evening Kevin Long how you doing Mr. Kevin I actually expected less people you're actually surprising me there are more people in here than what I actually thought because of this power outage 
but let me just quickly go to the slideshow and you can see um, what is exactly going on and uh, yeah so if you're wondering what is happening to the Durbanites over there there you've got it Mr. Durban apparently what is this place's name um, but there's, it's a substation that exploded <laughs> I can't, can't even remember where I saw that post but yeah apparently it has exploded so the whole Durban area is without power um, so I'm not exactly sure what the update of the situation is but it looks like a mean explosion heaven knows whether it is sabotage whether it is equipment getting old whether it's faulty equipment purchased we will never know because our citizens we probably are not supposed to know am i right so yeah that's that and then i wanted to actually show you this um the new vape vape meet the 22nd of october just check that out if you're in that area you can see there's even a pool competition this time they can actually be glad that it's not here in uh, cape town i would have given them a serious run for their money Basilis. Yeah, and I think that the explosion at that sub substation is at Kierwater or something like that. I think so, Kierwater. But it was recent. I think it happened within the past 24 hours, apparently. So maybe you guys have got a bit, a bit more information regarding this. But yeah, there you've got it. Birthday bash meet the 22nd of October from 2 o'clock. And uh, it looks like some other club. But yeah, just check that out if you're in the vicinity. And um, especially if you've got vape shops as well in that area, tell the people about it because this vape meet is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger by the event. Um, I think I still have probably got the picture of the first vape meet and the few amount of sponsors which was on there versus the amount of sponsors which are behind the vape meets now. It's definitely something to go and check out. I would do if I was you. Dion78 says, from the UK, me, welcome Dion78. I hope you guys have got some warm weather over there. Most of the times you guys have got what this, all the, this grey sky with this coolish um, weather there. It's most normally cold. Fear, it does not look, uh, feed, I mean, <laughs> fee. it definitely does not look good for sure. There's Brett Whitney, he says, exactly, Dani Yonker, I usually watch the videos on YouTube. Um, first one live. Well, there you go. Welcome, Dani. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Dani is the owner of the next one, which is Danger Zone Vape. You know, it's actually strange that you've been in the vaping scene for so long and you don't know about these vendors. Now, fair and well, I mean, it might be vendors which is popping up now though, but yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, the only reason why I came across them is because I was browsing Facebook. And um, in Facebook, some guy advertised a new product which they actually brought in. I think it's the Ripsaw, the Ripsaw RDA from Brent, Bearded Viking, and uh, whomever was working with him. I can't even remember now. Suicide Mods, I think. But anywho, so I decided to go and check that out. If these oaks order the Ripsaw, then they might have some more interesting stuff on their website. And lo and behold, I came across this number. And uh, I decided to get myself this, the V3 Dead Rabbit, because Dion Danhauser, he told me, I must get one of these things. I must test it. And I think he almost said it got better flavor than the Blaze, although Mike Vapes doesn't agree there. And Vaping Bogan also doesn't agree, but they say it's very close, very close. So in any case, I decided to give it a bash. I've in any case got that, that Ages Legend Special Edition, the blue one, which I almost got. And I think it will be will look cool beans. I'm actually gonna see a little shorty. A little cord brookie guys of the night. Let me show you this. Don't you think that RTA would look very much spunky on this guy? Just check them, check them side by side. There you go. Huh? The Galenia ha mooi lakey. I think I can flip a nice yes, but but that one I specifically ordered for that, so hopefully. I like the deck, I like the airflow, I like the fact that it's completely different to the previous Dead Rabbits because, I mean, Dead Rabbits were right. Um, I think it was more hyped up because of the Dead Rabbit RDAs which were so popular, but I didn't find the RTAs to be that liquor, liquor op faith plecker. But then this guy came along with a total different bull deck where you actually got airflow from the bottom sides and directly underneath. 
which is, was my cup of tea, um, which is what this guy is all about, the Arbiter 2. Yes, and if Kubus Carpenter was inside the house, he would still probably complain about that. But I mean, fortunately, there's enough people which uh, enjoy the Arbiter 2. I still think it is a great um, RTA, this. And I mean, it's I'm still going with the same cotton for the third week now. And a... He's Duxach, Papa. He's Duxach. Otherwise, what I've still got there is I've still got my Eries. I mean, I just find it very, very much nice to use these two setups for the people that are new that don't know what this guy is. This is the Expromiser 1.4, which I reckon is by, by far one of the best MTL RTAs out there. So if you're into MTL, try and get yourself one of these Expromiser 1.4s. And then the Ares V2 Limited Edition, the Onyx. This is the Onyx on top of the Odin. And the, this is the Dany, by the way. Somebody actually asked me, what is this mod? This is the Dany. It is probably one of, it's probably my most expensive mod. Put it that way. I mean, most of my mods are these numbers in this specific class. You understand? But then you get this picture. <whistles> Total cup of different tea. It's not even rooibos. It is totally different. Different. <laughs> but it's because it's German made, man. I mean, everything on this thing is so beautifully assembled and beautifully crafted. It is absolutely crazy. Yeah, so these are the three setups. And still on Blimey, permanently on Blimey. I am putting this in the Purge RDA, the XRDA. This I'm running inside here. There you go. Ooh. Courses loss. Courses loss. But anywho. So go and check out. Let's quickly back back. Maybe I was a bit too quick over there. Just check that out. DZV Danger Zone Vape dot co dot z a mm. this is nice this is nice a bit icy for rda but uh perfect in an rta for some other reason an rta just calms down that iciness calms down it's a easy boy easy now easy now don't get difficult with me so yeah so i decided to get that and then this this is the one which I was actually after. Now, Danger Zone has only got one of the color versions in stock. And I think there's only one left, by the way. But it's two gunmetals. But lo and behold, that's exactly the color configuration which I was looking for when I had a look at that. And the reason why I like this um, is because I always wanted that, that button over there, that trigger finger pull. This thing looks awesomely comfortable. And while I was putting this in my cart I decided to check Grim, Grim Green's review on this and that oak went on holiday with the kit now I didn't want the kit I'm not interested in the suburb tank on top of it but he really enjoyed this and then I watched what's it Wendy vapes or something like that what's the chick with the long nails but any case I watched her and uh, she also said it's a very very nice comfortable mod but heavy apparently but I don't think it uh, can be heavier than this. This thing is also heavy. Or heavier than a hammer of God or stuff like that. So if you're used to those kind of big big numbers, then uh, yeah, for sure. Then there's no problem. But that's a smock mag. I decided to get that, that as well. You can't say it doesn't look comfortable. It looks very much comfortable. So I know there is still one. Um, so go and check out uh, Danger Zone's website. And maybe there's something for you to go and uh, forage. To go and forage, his price is also good. I think it's 1,500 Rand free shipping. So to get to my 1,500 Rand, I just ordered an extra strawberry juice, an easy strawberry milkshake um, for, for loveliness for my wife. Wendy Vapes, there you go, there you go, Wendy, Wendy Vapes. Okay, so let's quickly see what's going on here. I do not want to neglect you guys. You oaks are solid, man, you're solid. Um, Brett Whitney says exactly we got that the Bigfoot missile attack here yeah, a missile attack it, it can't be one of our missiles we don't have any missiles and if we had they would have stolen the copper wire out of the missile <laughs> these oaks they rob everything you know yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're so what's Muda Lewis in English you, you're so um, yeah so Muda Lewis you, you gotta start laughing about this stuff I mean this country has to be a big joke 
um, to the rest of the world. I think we're great material for stand-up comedians worldwide. Absolutely. <laughs> Fee says, it's been many years since I played pool. Yeah, down and I still enjoy the game. We were actually um, a bit of a pool shark when I was younger. Then uh, if you guys know the Cape Town area, if you guys who grew up in Cape Town would know there was a place called Stag's Head. I'm not sure if it's still there. But that was back in the day when the clubs were Charlie Parker's, that heavy, difficult club in Seapoint. You had in Darby, you had the Prince of Wales. Those, th those times. So you're going to lack a jaw, lack and stumpy copper and kairs bitchy. And then you go to Stag's Head. It was situated very close to the Parliament um, building. And um, they had these different levels. And I think at the top level, there was a lot of pool tables. So we would go in there and put money down and then maybe lose just just and put money down again and maybe win the next one with one ball or something like that till the money gets bigger and then you start to you hoi papa you hoi I still remember I played this one evening I played against the, it's, an, it's the first time I've ever seen this by the way um, a three part pool cue this Chinese bloke walks in and he puts this this box down this cool and he opens it up and he's got three pieces and at the back there's a water pass meter so what he does he's got this i don't know what he paid for this thing but he's got this little stand in front so that when he puts his pool cue down it is absolutely level and then he checks and he spins his cue and then he checks this water pass meter again any case so i thought this guy was this is peri months this oaks up it and uh, I beat him and he was so angry that he smashed his stick. I felt so bad and he took his little empty case under his arm and he just walked out. But in any case, so yeah, now pool, pool was a great game. It's a great game. For sure. Now I'd say Jakub Feltes. Jakub Feltes is working on some juices again, I think. He's probably vaping his sour gummies. That's the last photo I actually saw on Facebook of Jakub Feltes with his sour gummies. Bigfoot. Can't make the meat cost too much. Get there. Can't make the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're a bit, you're a bit far, for sure. In America, our regulations, government destroyed our vape meats. Yeah, as I said, we're lucky so far. We're lucky so far. Heaven knows how long it's going to last. But yes, Brett Whitney says he's enjoying the, the ripsaw. Um, the ripsaw, there's nothing wrong with the ripsaw. I just prefer the Asgards. I think the Asgards are, 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 are great. They, they're just great RDAs. But yeah, I know people enjoy it. For sure. Um, Danny Onker says, my opinion is definitely V3. Have the blaze as well. I actually have got two blazes. And that's why I'm looking forward to it though. Because I've got the Torrent Beast, which to me is still a flavor machine over here. There's Torrent Beast over here on, the, on my other, other Oki. But they uh, yeah. are. And uh, did I actually put the other one on? I think I put it back again. But I've got two of these. <laughs> I just love this guy. I think I've got five of these oaks in total. Um, these workhorses, in case they die, I just want to have another one. To have another one over there. So yes, unfortunately, I didn't get time. As I said, my my corpus by a upper my um, uh, I don't know. I can't almost can't even sleep. I'm worried about something, but um, I will try to put something interesting up for auction for next week for the members. Um, but I will check that out. But the Evic Mini will be one of them. Most certainly. I know. I'll check my eight. Let's check my what gebeur. But as I said, it's for me it's pointless to have so many stuff. Um, and they are. Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, so you can see I got two. So you, you know I don't lie. <laughs> I got two of these things. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Um, so yeah, that was that. And yeah, there's a little fire explosion again. So let's quickly go back. Gentle fades, like a man in his skirky. And then I will also show you what the internet has to provide. What's new on the net. Um, there is one, two, three interesting little things. So we can check that out and see what's going on. Um, V3 is nice, airy and flavorful. I think I like it better than the Blaze. Oh, that's good news. I'm going to pop in a pair of white collar, blue white collar aliens. And see how it vapes at 0.22 ohms. How's it, Kays and everyone in chat? Good evening, Mr. Henry Lansberg. Lacker. Well, if the Dead Rabbit V3 is on par with the Arbiter V2, then, um, well, I don't know if you if you like the Arbiter V2. 
If you like the Arbiter V2 a lot, then I'm very glad that I actually ordered it. Mr. Longschlong, <laughs> ich glaub sie. Meneer Lang Totti. Um, yeah, it's nice, nice to see you over here. Um, hi Henry, hi Fee, good, how are you? Uh, these two are going to hook up. I'm sure you're going to hook up. It goes, it's a lekker ass. <laughs> Tani Onker says, thank you Kaiser. Very comfy, in line with the L200, more or less. Well, I must say, I've still got my L200, but I find the original one more comfortable than the L200. Um, actually, weirdly enough, I like this guy. But that thing, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be, I think that thing's going to be more comfortable than this. This guy is just lekker. He's just lekker of faith lekker. Not that the, any of these guys are uncomfortable, not by no means. But if this guy top, well, it's a mechanical mod, so nothing's going to happen. But I mean, if, if, if this thing topples over and breaks, then, ah, but this thing, you're not worried. If this guy falls falls down here, you're going to start sweating. If this guy falls down here, you're going to, ah, man, 99% chance it still survives. And that's what, that's what they are. That's what they are made for. Um, asking for a friend, does anyone know where to get flavor concentrate in Montreal, Canada? Um, most of my flavorings is is the flavorings which I can't get in South Africa anymore is I get it from Canada believe it or not but I mean he doesn't have to look for flavorings in Montreal he can just look for flavorings in Canada most of these shippings are, are for free for those oaks just above a certain amount of Canadian dollars obviously but it's not a lot so I wouldn't stretch too much about Montreal itself but uh, you can have a look. You'll definitely find. You must just type in, man. Type in Capella. And then what's Canada? Canada? Dot C, C O dot C A or something. I can't even remember. I haven't done it in a quite a while. I've still got more than enough concentrates. Canada. It's type, type in a, just the word Canada. You should count. That's just, it's just dot C A at the end. It's as simple as that. So yeah, ejusflavorings.ca at the end, then you should come up with a huge amount of. Let's let's do it for him then. Let's just show you what nice oak I can be if I want to be. Do 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 do. Yeah, man, there's quite a few. You'll 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 find quite a lot. There's fusion flavors. That's yeah, I'll somehow put it in here. Um, flavors to go yeah look at this flavors to go Canada's number one source I'll somehow just pop pop this little link inside I don't know if if I'm allowed to but ah uh, what the hell because class if you look at okay, the age verification okay that's cool cool wins yeah um, Nico this is not a Eju's flavoring supplier this by the way, so let's cop him in there. See, you tell me, man, it's a big bit with his eyes back, don't you? swak come in, he's He's lazy, man. He wants other people to do his job for him. Okay, I'll post, paste the link inside chat. Other thing. There you go. Give it to him and tell him he can order from them. But uh, there's ample, ample places in Canada for flavorings. I used to play at the stag. Hey, look at Fee. <laughs> I used to play. What do you mean by play, Fee? Could you elaborate on what do you do that you define as play? It could be a lot of interesting things. Jakob Felte says, Nico Libba, I will send you a Facebook group where you can ask. Okay, cool, cool beans. Michael de Villiers, Dagse van Sasselburg. Lekker man. Hoe komt die petrol so dier? Jy boot mos van ons te kan sê. Uh, and why is diesel, by the way, more expensive than petrol? Isn't diesel supposed to be a byproduct in the manufacturing of petroleum? But why is diesel, is it about um, uh, uh, demand? That kind of thing. It's more scarce. I'm not sure. I think uh, ESCOM is using up all the diesel. That's the problem. It's them burning all these coals. Sith Walker, hey Kaiser, um, have you got a stubby? No, I don't have a stubby. I'm not big on on these these AIO kind of numbers. Not big on them. What I'm actually going to get uh, on Sunday, there's a vape shop in Stellenbosch 
that apparently is bringing me me some Oxva um, products. And the Oak nogal asked me if if I want to review the Arbiter 2. And that's the sad thing about South Africans, ne? the vapors. If that Oak watched any of my videos for the past six months, he would know I've got the Arbiter 2. <laughs> so I just decided to be, keep quiet. So hopefully he comes along Sunday and brings me another Arbiter 2. And that's a giveaway for my members if he brings another Arbiter 2 because I got enough. I got enough Arbiter 2s. So yeah, so come on, let's see what's going on. Let's check that out. Um, think, thanks, Michael Villiers. That is, okay, we've got that, that little pad. You could try it, do it yourself. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so like a chatty tonight. I like it. I think a good competition for the Ripsaw is the Dead Rabbit Max RDA. Nog al hy ene. But still, the Asgard kicks the Ripsaw's arse. It does, it does, for sure. And I mean, don't even throw this guy away. Obviously, it's not as big as the Ripsaw. But this, this X is very good flavor. Yo. Very much nice. The XRDA from Purge. Purge. I haven't heard anything, by the way, from Moritz, but I think Moritz is working on a package type of deal um, for that Splendorous. I actually told him, I think what one should do is, if he gets that deal, don't, don't put it on the typical auction. Get people to buy tickets. Because remember, it's a, it's a Purge Squonker, which is inside there. It's his series of um, Deadly Sins juices, which is very expensive, by the way. They're very layered juices. They're not these simple stuff where you buy Capella's custard and you throw some uh, vanilla with it. <laughs> one vanilla flavoring. Vanilla, what's it? What's the big vanilla? The famous vanilla one. I think I have got somewhere. I'm not sure. Vanilla or something like that. Anywho. Be that as it may, let's quickly, okay, let's, let's quickly go to chats again. Hi, Michael. Hi, welcome. Hello, little. I'm amazed how clean my cotton stays in the DR Max RDA, but I can say exactly the same for this guy. It's just weird. It's weird when I see some people's, they bring their RTAs to me to clean because, I mean, um, or to rebuild it for them. They just got, but I think they probably got faith in me. I've got no idea. But, um, then I look at their cotton and I scheme here. Oh, but can you end? Are you vaping Castrol GTX? Where mine is older and it's still clean. It is the weirdest thing. But what people also tend to do is remember if your saturation is not good and you're vaping at 80, 90 watts, then you start tending to brown your cotton inside the coil by having too much heat and too little saturation inside the coil area. And then that little blackness starts spreading. And then you can't decently as my son. Here you should see what my son looks like, like now. The oak goes in gym, gyms religiously. He's a big monster now. <laughs> He's becoming big. So yeah, um, my, so yeah if, you, if you've got a nice RTA, you, your juice, as I said, this is a very nice clear juice. There's not, not many pigments inside. It's, it's very clear. And it's about two weeks old, this, this bottle at the moment. But I can even show you bottles which are older than that. I mean, this bottle is probably a month old. Look how clear that is still. So no, man. And it's that what you must looking for. It's those coffee vapes, those chocolate vapes, those things which with a lot of sugar inside of it. And most commercial juice is very sweet. So yeah, especially if you do it yourself. Your cotton can last a very long time. Nant um, Michael say, Henry, Henry, good allemaal vanavond. Um, I'm enjoying the clips duel in the Cyclops. Yo, yo, fancy. You also got the clips duel. I don't think the clips duel is in South Africa yet. I know one person that actually brought it in. He's got it, but uh, not yet. Blaze RTA is good. Guys, please give give a like. Here, lick a like over there. Thank you, meneer. Now it's a pleasure, man. Shaw van Nikkerk member for 16 years. <laughs> I heard the new Canada vapors are, are heating. Do it yourself concentrates also. Mm, they are, yeah. And I mean, heaven knows what's what's going to happen or what's busy happening there in China with that nonsense, um, with the flavoring, whole flavoring business where Canada themselves are not allowed to sell any flavorings besides that which is tobacco related. And it's something which which is supposed to kick in at, I think, 5 October, if I'm not mistaken. 
So how that is going to impact the rest of the world, we will just have to wait and see. And talking about wait and see, as Mr. De Villiers says, ANC. Um, Brittany says, Ripsaw is good for out and about since I won't read it. Yeah, no, no, it won't, uh, it won't leak for sure. What setups are you guys running? Charlie's always interested in what setups are you guys running tonight? Henry Landsberg, check that ding. Begin some welcome to Wing It Secondary. Nice, welcome Mr. Henry. Awesome show, look at that. Look how nice he is. Nice and friendly is Mr. Devon Stradom also. Let's quickly check what is out. What is new? I'm sure you don't want to look at my mug the whole time. Let me just cup a little inner jade. Nachi inner jade. Um, kijk net goed hier zo. Ik wil make sure dat Mr. Zack Damon hier is. Stier die man en hoes op mijn foto's alweer. Snappies. Um, we can give over there if you can. Okay, okay, Mr. Zack. Ooh, Mr. Zack is also good. Now the Valkyrie Mini RTA I'm not interested in. I don't like the look of that RTA and the people did not give it good reviews. So yeah, and I see that there's one guy which sold, sold his Valkyrie Mini RTA the same day as when I actually ordered, ordered it. So yeah, no, no, no. The Eclipse deal, if the Eclipse deal is something you think I would like, Zach, you know what I like. Then you're more than welcome to bring that. Okay. Okay. And just the once. Oh, I can live on stream. Say my name is Iso. Iso. All right. Okay. Let's check that out. Let's check out the first one. Enlarge the Hell 200 kit by Hell Vape. So now it's also good for the vendors that are inside here. So now you can somehow see the new stuff which is here. Um, it was assembled from a massive, <laughs> but very light two jar, 200 watt mod. You gotta love the vocab these people use in their translations with a convenient vaporizer replacement system and a capacious 6.5 milliliter flask. It's not an atomizer, it's a flask. Okay, the Hell Vape unveiled the Hell 200 mod it's not a bad looking mod it's pl very plain and simple um, we've seen these round buttons before there but yeah the box mod received a minimalistic body with solid dimensions economical trihedral shape so basically like the minikin eh? the minikin or ah oh, what's the other one which i got from Duffpo? what's the Duffpo one the Riva, man. The Riva, damn it. Hey. So it's probably going to have this little shape. There you go. That will probably have this, is probably what they mean. Yeah, almost like the, Od the Odin shape as well. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay, the choice of colors was limited to three variations. Black, dark, gray, and silver. And there you go. Dual 18650s. Great mods, great mods. As I said, dual 21700s, better battery life, but slightly larger. I've got no issues. I still maintain two types of mods which you need. Dual 18650 and single 21700. Direct lunging, MTLing. Then you're not going to have a problem, ever complain about battery life. But yeah, dual 21700, obviously more battery life, but now you obviously start sacrificing comfort in the hand. The device was with a, uses a familiar board without any special innovations. Work is carried out <laughs> in the range from 5 to 200 watts bypass and VPC. What is that? Variable something. Jesus, what is VPC modes? Something curves? I don't know. For example, or for power to yeah, 18650s. There you go. Not a bad looking mod. It's going to be a comfortable mod, but as I said, it, it's nothing special. It's even got the round button like what the Riva also does. So yes, and remember the Duffbo's also got the round button. So nothing special, nothing new. But this is mostly a tank that shoots out the thing, doesn't it? Which actually pops out. You press it in, pops out. 
So in any case, so that is that number. Let's quickly check out the number next one. Mr. SX Mini actually climbed on the AIO circuit with their kit. There you go. He has released the SX Mini VI class AIO kit. The universal adjustable device received a removable, a removable aluminum frame powered by an external 18650. There you go. 18650 battery. Now that's already a nice little winning combination which you've got. On September 23rd, he announced all in one device. Eight different colors. Metal frame is made completely removable for quick access to the battery compartment. Ah, look at that. That is very much nice. That is very much nice. There's not a lot of mods which I know where you actually remove the whole body to replace a battery. Cute. One uh, wide sidewalls, narrow monochrome display. Okay, that we see over there. You can see it's nice and small in the hand. It almost reminds me of one of the old Kangatek devices. Yeah, just like it. Now that I look at this thing. But it's not bad. It's not bad looking. It's all going to be about the coil now. Now it all depends on the flavor the coil produces. But it's a nice little looking mod. So hopefully, could be a winner if they decide to bring out a rebuildable inside. The magnetic cartridge looks like the borrow format, but with an integrated 0.4 ohm coil. Refueling is made. Refueling no highlights. Reducing. Two drip tip types. A cartridge and a USB cable by instructions. And there you go. Tank volume 4 milliliters, not a shabby nine or power up until 60 watts. So yes, could have some nice MTL action. I'm just trying to think where is the airflow adjustment? Doesn't look like as if it's got any airflow adjustment. You'll probably have to use your drip tip. But yeah, I don't think so. I don't, maybe I must mis misread something. But all right, that's there. And then we've got this number over here. Let me just quickly click on more posts so it can increase over there. The Brasco filters. What the fig is this? I swear I've seen this before, man. Polish surface gives the design a good look. No, 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 no. These things never uh, really take off, these type of devices. But and, and I think it's because of the, the limited availability of filters. You'll have to have at least 10 vendors bringing in these things consistently. Else your device is going to be useless. If there's no... And for them to bring it in, it needs to be popular. 10 to 15 watts. Oh yeah, that's what that little monkey nut looks like. Quickly check if there's something interesting over here. What the hell is this? Look at this picture. A little transparent pod. I hear it. There's another Vupuvency. <laughs> this actually looks cute. I like it like oh god. But yeah, it looks cute. But that that's as far as it goes for me. Not something which I would want. But it has got an interesting look to it though. Maximum power 15 watts, 0.8 ohm coils, 4.5 moles of juice. Huh. Subsystem will work with a new series of pre-filled 5 milliliter cartridges. So there you go. They don't have a picture of these cartridges, but uh, you have got that option as well with this little monkey nut. Okay, let's continue and see if there's something new. Otherwise, no, these things are... Okay, so it's the Vinci one. This one we can open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, something is a nice... Oh, Vicious Ant. Vicious Ant decided to uh, wake up. The Vinci Special Edition pod. We've seen this. We've seen this before. So you can just... If you're interested, you can pause and read it later. I'm not going to go through that. This is just a smaller version of that Brasco or whatever thing. This is just from Aspire. I wonder why. Is it just to get that cigarette feel? 
to, to minimize the chances of spit back that you've got this filter situation going on but yeah it's weird if any of you guys have tested something similar to this let us know inside chat but um, mm -mm. I want to get to I want to get to this guy let's see if they've got a new shape going on over here yo, 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 yo. the minimus oh 18650 that sucks ass balls needed to be a 21700 a body made out of wood. I hope they treated this wood extremely well. Because in the past I have had not have not had good experiences with any wooden component. Juice and wood, not big friends. Not big friends. And if it starts warping, mm -mm -mm. I'm sure that they probably would have treated it extremely well. The front side was supplemented with a narrow one color display. Exposing the steel, the removable battery cover. Look at that thing. Right. Also kind of shape which is fairly familiar. That that portion of here. Yeah, it's something a bit different. Besides, it is possible to work in the modes of temperature control and preliminary heating. So preheating function available. So basically a boost function. Monitoring of all necessary information is carried out through a modest, a modest monochrome interface. Interesting that these guys are going back to the monochrome faces, eh? these these companies. Um, they, earlier we saw Yi, which has got a monochrome face, and yeah, this guy, Vicious Ant, monochrome face. Ah, interesting that they decided on these monochrome faces. Whether it is for the money or the availability of boards, I've got no idea. But it can take up until a 24 millimeter. Only, as I said, 18650, single 18650, up until 60 watts. Not a bad looking device, but it will be expensive. Make no mistake, probably be $250 up in that region, I assume. And then we've got an REA2. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you see it on Mr. Ketchup Show. Coil Third has released an RDA2. It's funny that they haven't called it the RDA for vaping there. Eh? The RDA for vaping too. It's now just an RDA2 by Coil Third. A dual RDA for gold. Let's close this rubbish over here. Gold plated racks, a set of interchangeable rings. Okay, that we also had in the previous one. Squonk pin, blah, 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 blah. Tripka received a collapsible steam dome consisting of a side skirt. Top cap was crowned with a wide low profile, a 10 high skirt, da, 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 smooth massive there. Yeah, it almost looks as if it's angled upwards, which would be good. Which would be good. But yeah, ex externally it looks very much like the previous one. It looks a bit beefier though. Not sure what these numbers over here on this is under the dome. In the center base, there are four glided. I can only select a layer. See my camera is on it, but four glided racks with round, spacious slots for installing. They have spirals, fair and well. The winding legs. Da, 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 da. Side airflow installed both loose. Da, 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 and the volumetric base coupled with high walls form a capacious liquid reservoir. Yeah, so I, I assume it is basically just to reduce. There's the little interesting design um, for the deck. Huh. Well, well what is this? Uh, with a replaceable ring. Okay, that we already got. So, yeah. That's interesting. I know that the audio for vaping did extremely well. There's still people every now and again posting that they are looking for one in the classifieds. I've still got my audio for vaping as well. So that's liquor. After that one, I'm not interested in this Gaelic pod. And I think this guy we had a look at last time. Yeah, these are we had a look at last time. So that is regarding what is the nicest one for you, Oaks? I think the nicest surprise of here is this one. <laughs> I think so. And as I said, the one, the SX one as well, if they decide to bring out a, a rebuildable deck for that, that would also be cool beans. But uh, yeah, and that's that. Let's quickly transition back and go to the chats and see what is going on. You also see there, there, that one there, there you go, that. That's the good guys. Now, 
that is basically where I always got my Pied Piper from. If I did not order my Pied Piper MTL tobaccos directly from the um, from Guy W, then I ordered it from the good guys. And go and check them out. They've also got juices and very they're very good priced. It's Ronaldo Rieda. He's also a member of this channel. So they situated in the Eastern Cape, I think in the PE region. So go and check him out. But that's the good guys. I think the website is tgg.co.za. If I'm not mistaken, I'll also post that inside as well. The good guys. Then you've got that inside chat as well. And niemand of the sickle nie. Here kom ek alweer op die mense af. The good guys. Seorodzere. Okay, don't worry, I'll find it for you. I'll find it. There you go. If you just type in Seorodzere at the end, then immediately you're going to come across them. But I'll post it inside chat, the link. And uh, then everybody's got it. Nobody can complain. Nobody can cry. Okay, come on, let's go to the on. Devon Stradium. Good evening, Devon. Nice to have you over here. Vanilla Vapes. Vanilla Vapes has the Eclipse during stock. Ah, okay, there you've got it. So if you're interested, for, for years, look at for years, just like it. I thought for years, left South Africa, he's gone overseas. For years, one of our regular Cape Town vape meet attendees. He's, he, he, he's, uh, he's got an Indian accent because he's Indian, but he talks so fast. you got to get to know him. And then after the third vape meet, you can start catching what he says, <laughs> but he's the fastest talker which I've ever, ever heard of. Right now, I'm vaping a box of borrow your check in my name, but you guys are l lucky. I mean, for us to bring in the things from overseas, the shipping is almost the same <laughs> as what the boxer costs. And uh, yeah, and, and I waited extremely long for my boxer 21700 single battery mod to get here. I actually thought it's never going to pitch up. I waited months for that thing. And after paying for speed shipping as well. So, yeah. Now that, that, I was a bit worried over there. We've got a Vaporeso Gen with Dr. V3. The, the Dead Rabbit V3. Nice. My well, well, Danny, as you have vape, then it's a black on the still. Here's Mr. Dion. Dan, how's it? Dion, I told you. I told you. You missed it earlier. I bought the Dead Rabbit V3 from... Uh, uh, let me show you that again. Let me quickly show you. Here's the, uh, the slideshow. You can transition. The, from danger zone vape. <laughs> so yeah, so I've got the Dead Rabbit V3, which should be here tomorrow or the day after at the latest. And then, Mr. Dion, I will let you know what I think of it. And it better be lekker, ne? It better be lekker because I could have used that money for my kids' university for the first year. <laughs> Siegfried on the swell <laughs> almost looks like the RX23 or RX300 um, shape similar to the Minikin 2 yeah absolutely VPC is variable power curve there you go variable power curve that makes total sense yeah now Donnie is 100% right um, I actually knew it though I just forgot it man Jay Hayes is going to say ye copied him big tears coming soon I don't know what did they copy they, 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 they didn't did they make something similar to that device I, I didn't know that I mean I haven't I haven't watched this stuff in quite a long time I enjoyed him a lot for his drama now that there's no more drama um, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't watch him Kevin Long Zach Damon didn't you know Jay has invented everything vapor related yeah 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 for the arm man 80 so Geek Vape drops a new pod vape every other week. They actually do. You are also. How many damn pods do they have now? Yes. Now it is true. They're bringing out the stuff too quickly, man. Too quickly. And I, don't, I can't understand why. Why they do it. I mean, and it's not that it's, if it's a huge difference in the shape or something like that. It's just slight variations. But it's probably just to get the advertising, the visibility out there for all the new people to see. There you go, removable case. And that's the last thing which is on here. Oaks, is there any content from your side? Again, 
I assume nobody has ever purchased something which is bad. Because if you remember, two shows back, I asked you to email me your worst purchase and two or three reasons why. And I never received a single email. So you guys are extremely lucky that all your purchases are hunky-dory. That is very rare in the vaping scene. I've bought a few duds, quite a few duds, but uh, not you oaks. You oaks are lucky. You oaks are lucky. Um, Zach says, smash the like, smash the like button, oaks. I, ne I need, I need to feel loved for a change. <laughs> yes, amis. That was not a lekker week geweest hier for me. That was a moeilijke week. That was difficult. So at least we got one new member. And that, that's some nice positive over there. That's cool beans. Um, only 12 likes so far. Nee, jyre. Hoes jylle mense. Klop jylle poeers vanavond. But in any case. Ook, so that is that. If there's anything you guys want to add, just quickly type it inside chat. I've got nothing to say. Um, nothing more. Been to the optimist today. These little cheap click, clicks, brillikies. They're not, they're not that lekker. I don't smoke them that quite. So yeah, done that. We had a week of holiday when school started. Climbing the car, switcher on, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, since there's so many of you out there, is that the state of the car batteries these days? That you buy a battery, you put it in your car, and if you don't use your car for a week, the battery drains. What in a car when everything is off discharges the battery? Can the alarm system? But it can't even be that because the alarm is not activated. The car's in the garage, it's parked, it's switched off, I climb out, boom. And then a week later, if you want to start the car, it doesn't work. So I had to take the battery as well to get charged, which I'm going to get tomorrow. Um, Claire Bantain, here it is Claire, what I've heard Claire miss that she now even still so out of the way. I normally see Claire's name, because Claire's got such a nice name, I like the surname, Claire Bantain. I don't, I don't think I've got a tracking system, I'm not sure, but wow, so it is possible that your batteries, and it's not, the battery's not even, I think it is 11 months, which is not old. Back in the day, I knew batteries lasted 3-4 years. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden. So yeah, so I basically have to start the car and drive the car every at least three days. Else you lose it. You have a trickle charger. <laughs> Get you a trickle charger. Okay, I, I'll, I'll check up on that. Not sure what exactly that is. But in any case, think about it though. Maybe you guys have got battery, better power batteries or not. I actually have, if you know about it, Next time in chat, you can just post the system. I've had the same with my car batteries. Yeah, so let's hope it's not a a common thing these days. Because I feel a week, a car just standing a week inside, it should be able to start. And that's it, Toyota Auras Noha, of all things. Okay, guys, thank you very much for, for joining this evening's show. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of a Wednesday evening. Hope you have a very good weekend, coming weekend. I have got a very busy weekend marking question papers. Life science question papers. And I think I've got a day to mark a total of 48 grade 12, 150 mark question papers. So I'm going to be very busy, very busy. So yes. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for joining. I did add a few names at the back of the song. Definitely I will add the new people which actually joined. I just want to quickly get that extra. And um, thank you very much for watching. I much appreciate it, guys. Cheers, eh?